Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Front Row Seats. Coming back again with another tier video. As you know, I love doing a tier video. It's something easy for me to do in such a... And also, there's not much to talk about right now. As I need to set up some more podcasts, and I'm going to start doing some more previews, but I thought, why not? As we're near, nearly at the halfway stage. Some teams have played a lot more than others, but we're nearly at the halfway stage for most teams. Why don't we do my Premier League predictions? So we'll start from the bottom. Obviously, you have Champions, Champions League, Europa League, Top 10, Top 15, Survivors, and Relegation. So, in last place is Sheffield United. I think that's fair to say. You know, against uh, Newcastle, they were promising, they looked signed, but against um, Spurs, they just had no idea. So, uh, yeah. Any chance, any little hope in people thinking they might do it? Not, no chance. Um, I'm going to put. I'm going to put West Brom. I think Big Sam's going to get relegated for the first time in his career. I'm not going to blame him too much. Um, I also think... This is going to be controversial. But I think Brighton are going to get sucked into it. I think Brighton are going to go down. Now, I know that's like, what the fuck, but I just... I think Fulham are going to do it, you know. I don't think Fulham are going to just stay up with Burnley just ahead of them. That would be my bottom five, which is the bottom five right now, just at Brighton and Fingered. Now look at the table in front of me now, and Brighton are on 17 points, and Fulham's on 12. But Fulham's got two games in hand of them, and so is Burnley. So, you know, Fulham win them games in hand, they go above them, so did Burnley. So did, Brighton could easily drop into that bottom three. So just because they're currently five points, no, yeah, five points clear of uh, uh, 18 doesn't mean they're out of it. And I don't think Brighton are going to are gonna come down this year. Which I know is um, probably not a popular opinion, but that's, that's my... Hey, look, it's everyone's personal opinion. That is what, my, what I think is going to happen. All right, so from 14th to uh, 10. <sighs> I think you can't... I don't honestly... I'm going to go Newcastle in... Uh, 14th, even though I generally think they could. Oh, sorry, Newcastle 15th. Sorry, I generally think they could easily. Newcastle could drop down here easy. And if it wasn't for individual players like Wilson, uh, Max, St. Maximum, um, uh, Lascelles at the back, if he comes back, and also uh, Darlow in goal, I think they'd be a lot lower. Um, after them, I'm looking at someone like a Palace, I think. Yeah. I think Palace will finish about, what, 14th, 14th, 13th, I'm going to go Leeds. I think Leeds are very, like, they'll, they'll always play good football, but I don't think it's going to cost them. And I also think they might, might, obviously I know people have been saying this for a few years now, but I think by the end of the season they might, like, the top players might blow out because Bills teams always blow out at the end of the season. And, like, it happened in the Championship a bit, obviously when they had the meltdown and they um, bottled the league. And then, um, oh, sorry, that's not very professional, is it? I got a call on, uh, on, um, Discord. Sorry about that, uh, people was watching. Uh, not fresh at all, but yeah, sorry, as I was saying, Leeds, um, they, so I think, because it's also a harder league as well in the Premier League, which is more intense, I think it's going to affect them. Don't get me wrong, that's still a great finish, but, you know, some people might have them a bit higher, I don't know. And next up, I'm going to actually go for Wolves, because, this is, obviously, this could be very reactionary before what I've seen it right now, but at the end of the day, <coughs> Wolves haven't got uh, Jimenez. He's out for the season, and you, it's costing them. They lost to West Brom yesterday. They just don't. They're just missing it. They are missing him big time. 14th, 13th, 12th. Um, I'm gonna go West Ham. 11th. Yeah, West Ham in 11th, I think. Mm hmm. I'm going to go Arsenal 10th. Southampton 9th. Villa 8th. That's what I'm going to do. That is generally what I'm going to do. Europa League. Oh, good one. Good one. In 7th. We're going to have... 
Oh, this is where it gets tough. I think in seventh. Hmm. I don't know, you know, because it's. Oh, I, this is harder than I thought. I'm looking at Chelsea or I'm looking at Everton. Better players, a lot better manager. We look at the current league table now. Chelsea have played one more game in Everton. But are uh, three points behind. Do you know what? I'm going to go out of the limb and say Chelsea seventh. I know some, some of my Chelsea friends aren't going to be happy with that. But that's what I'm going for. Everton in six. Leicester in fifth. Even though I could see Leicester dropping down seventh if they get a Vardy injury or a Madison injury. I really could. Now it's Champions League time. In fourth place, I'm going to Manchester United. Well, we can drag them up there. I generally think they're going to um, drop down. I really do. I think the form thing is. In third, I'm going to go to Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, I really, I did, I had, at the start of the season, I had them. They're my favourites to win the league, but I think, yes, they're only, what is it, four points behind Man U, but, you know, they look kind of like, when they went on a bad run in December, it kind of messed them up big time. Um, But this is the big one, who will win the league? Now, at the start of the season, I said Liverpool, but I'm looking at the form table right now, Man City's one of their last five, Man U currently sitting Liverpool currently sitting fourth. Not only am I doing current thing, I'm also thinking Man City is starting to look like the Man City we all know and appreciate and really enjoy that football. Like at the start of the season, they were kind of boring to watch, but now they're playing free flow football, they're scoring goals, they're defensively solid. John Stones and Diaz look like a right partnership. Also, they've got a game in hand them a second, and if they win that, they go top. So I'm going to go the champions. It's, it's, going, to, oh, it's going to be. When I can, when my thing wants to get there, it's going to be man. It's going to be Man City, and Liverpool are just going to miss out due to injury. Now, if they had um, Thiago fit for a whole season, Van Dijk fit for the whole season, Liverpool would win the league. I generally think Liverpool could be a built to win a few more leagues in the next few years. But this is how I would do the league. So I'll go over it again. Sheffield United last. No one could disagree with me there. West Brom, big time to get relegated. Brighton's very controversial. I know that, but I just think they're going to get dragged and I think they're going down. Fulham staying up. I didn't believe it. And then some of my housemates were like talking to me and I started watching Fulham and I was like, do you know what? I think they might stay up actually. Burnley will stay up because of one man, Sean Dyche. Newcastle will stay up because there's worse teams than believe it or not, but they are shocking to watch and Bruce needs to go. Palace is just Palace. Roy does what Roy does. Leeds... Great team to watch. They are fun to watch. Fair. Everyone enjoys watching Leeds, but they, they will love watching Leeds because there's goals both ends. You know what I mean? It's never a nil-niller. Uh, Wolves, generally because they're missing Jimenez and they're missing Doherty this year. And Yotta, you can really see the impact they've had. West Ham, David Moyes. Arsenal's a rebuild under Arteta. I, I do think they'll be better. Southampton, they could be higher to be fair. He's done a great job. Villa. Villa would just be missing out on Europa League, but they could even scrape the Europa League. Chelsea might prove me wrong. I'm just going on what I've seen so far this season. Same with Everton. Everton could, I mean, Everton's currently sitting six, but very close to fourth. But with a game in hand as well. But I just don't think they've got enough to get out of top four. Same with Leicester. I generally think they're one injury away. And Man U, you have already explained Man U thing. So I think Man City's going to win the league. Um, but let me know what you guys think of the table's going to look at. You know, I could be completely wrong. And we'll look at, we'll look back at this when the season's over. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure I've, you go check out the Twitch. I stream every day. Football Manager. We're currently doing a Nottingham Forest save. My team. It's kind of fun. Come over and say hello. Make sure you check our socials. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.